Hey guys, it's your boy Curtic YouTube back from the Spicy YouTube video, and today I am going to be trying something new this week. So I'm only going to be uploading one one video this week instead of two, like I usually do. But I am going to try and make that one video as professional as I possibly can. Um, edit it up. Um, uh, I guess you'll see, um, and I probably already ended a little bit in the video. But anyways, um, the video today, like the actual video content is going to be my review of the MGC V2, which is actually my main now. Um, oops, sorry, I bumped the camera. Um, anyways, so this cube in my, well, obviously it's my main, so I obviously think it's pretty good. And this is the magnetic version. I don't know if the magnetic is released. Um, but one thing I do like about this cube is that it has the white insides. It kind of ha makes it have just a little bit of a different look that makes it just look um, a little bit extra cool I don't know it just makes um seem a little fancier I don't know um I just like it like that um so the actual turning of this cube is pretty smooth I have put a little candy cane in it but um even before that it was really smooth um the speed of this cube is just enough for me it's not crazily fast um but it is medium it's not slow I wouldn't call it slow at all um there's not much resistance in the turning um but there is enough resistance that it will make it feel, like, not unstable, you know. Um, yeah, the magnets do their job. So, on um, the shades on this cube, we've got white, which is terrible. Like, this white, it's just so white. It's too white, man. It's, it's so white. It just... I feel like the white... Cubes never get the white right. Like, it's... Uh, it's terrible. Anyways. Um... After after this horrid side, we got the green, which is a nice brightish green, and it's actually dark a darker shade off of the camera than on the camera. Um, this red is again a little bit a little bit darker, but about the same shade. Um, it's a nice it's not too dark of a red, but it's just the right shade that it doesn't look um overly bright or overly not bright, I guess. Um, the blue um, is about the same as it's the blue equivalent of the red, I would say, and it's a bit darker than, um, maybe my preference, but it's not, um, a bad, too dark, for example, I'm pretty sure the Volk Power was a lot darker of blue. The orange is actually very bright, so the orange and the green are pretty bright, while the red and the, um, blue are a bit darker. Um, the orange is just pretty bright, though, um, but it's not, like, a bad bright, it's just kind of a neon, and I like, I, I personally like neon colors. Um, and then we have the yellow, which is just, um, it, if you can imagine a lime, it's just a little bit, it's just a little bit lighter than that, I would say. About the same as a, not, not a lime, a lemon. <laughs> um, anyways, so, yeah. Um, the corner cutting on this cube, try one piece, that cuts really easily, um, that feels natural. Even one and a half piece is completely fine. I might have tensioned this a little bit, I don't know. And then... On two pieces, it just goes right on back. Um, just a little bit before two pieces, is the it gets stuck um, like that, right here. It will cut it eventually, though. So that's very extremely good corner cutting. Reverse is one piece. Um, and then at like one and a half pieces, it'll just cut to the other side. So um, there's not many positions where this cube won't cut corners at all. Um, so you're gonna have a, you're not gonna really ever be trying to get this right here to cut all the way here. So it's not really, um, something you should be worried about. Very good corner cutting. Um, so, yeah, um, that is my review of this cube. Uh, if there's anything that I missed that you were wanting to know about this cube, leave a comment in the comment section and I will take a look at it and, um, see, um, what I can say. So, yeah. That's it for today, guys. Thanks for watching, and see you later.